Imagine darkness. No light, no sound, no sight, no smell, no taste, no touch, no form. Emptiness, the void, the source of the uncreated. Then suddenly a sound rang, loud and thunderous. This primal sound reverberates throughout the dimensions. Then voila, a vast construct appears. A giant work of art known as universe is projected into the void by the master artist. This master creator artist explores self in all of its vast forms and dimensions through the medium of universe. This is art in its grandest, most majestic sense, the dynamic unfoldment of consciousness through the medium of universe. Phenomenal forms are created by the impression of the absolute upon the relative. This universe, the playground of form, was created as a perfect work of art, inclusive of the evolutionary unfoldment of the heavens and earth, programmed with such features as light and dark, day and night, space and sky, land and sea, vegetation and seeds, seasons, days, years, sun, moon, stars, living creatures of the sea, air and land, gardens and streams, and finally man and woman. Inherent in this grand artwork were all the details, laws and principles of different dimensional realities. Some of these laws include the law of gravity, the law of polarity and the law of time. The dynamic unfoldment of consciousness through the medium of universe. This particular universe is the universe of form, impermanence, testing, manifestation and devolution. However, this is only one of many universes. What is visible and sensible to us, the phenomenal world, we refer to as nature. The invisible is the non-manifest, the imaginal realm. Simultaneously the universe experiences time as processes of evolution. The visible world is a vast field granted by the Creator to the humans. If it were not for the creation of the natural world, Humans would have no context to exist in, nor would they have anything to learn or construct from. The Creator endowed the humans with a palette of sounds, words, colors and shape to see what kind of world they would create. Humans perceive their immediate world through five senses, plus a sixth sense, a mental sense organ, called imagination. Without the power of imagination, humans would be like the animals. But through the power of imagination, humans can complete the feedback process that began with an image in the mind of God. All forms that appear in the phenomenal world are a variation of particular archetypal motifs, structures and geometric patterns. Each of these forms constitutes a distinct form of natural art, i.e. a plant, a leaf, a tree, an animal, an insect, the sky or the stars. Natural art as well as human art is the manifestation of the mystery of creation, whether it is in the form of a stone, a tree, a poem, or a song. Each of these perfect works of art is but a sliver in an ever-evolving cosmic masterpiece. Nature as a work of art is often depicted in mandalic images, where the lower half represents the constituent elements of the phenomenal world and the upper half represents the abstract components of the imaginal world. The latter world is often depicted as emanating from a superior psychosensory center point. Late European medieval alchemists, or early modern alchemists such as Robert Flood, also depicted nature as a work of art. Flood's work clearly illustrates the division between the third and fourth dimensions. There is also a famous alchemical print depicting an alchemist poking his head through the vault of heaven. On one side of the vault are depicted third-dimensional forms such as trees and greenery. On the other side of the vault, however, are depicted fourth-dimensional visions and fiery orbs and geometrical constructs. This illustration demonstrates art as the bridge between the sensory phenomenal and hypersensory imaginal worlds.